just to wrap up our discussion, I'd love to just uh, give each of you an opportunity to plug one more film from 2014 that maybe we haven't talked about, but you think people just have to see. So go for it. What, what's one film you would recommend that we haven't talked about? Let's go first. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> Whiplash. Right. Whiplash. Oh, Whiplash. Yeah. Yeah. Terrific. oh my gosh. I think, I guess, you know, my thing is like, purpose, passion, mm. why am I here, what am I doing, how, mm. what will you, what, to what length will you go to fulfill mm -hmm. what's in your heart, right. what you feel that you're called to do. Right. And gosh, whiplash is, takes me on a whiplash of a ride. <laughs> Even though when I initially going in with the title whiplash, it was completely different than what I thought, mm -hmm. and it's a surprise, but yeah. it's, I love the passion in the film and the surprise. I feel that it has strong story elements, mm -hmm. but the choices that were made completely uh, are unexpected. Yeah. And that makes it an indie film mm -hmm. with just strong story mm -hmm. structures, storytelling, performances. Mm -hmm. I love the yeah. film. If you're unconvinced that J.K. Simmons can act, I mean, this is a, oh a, a terrifying performance. Yeah. <laughs> really I almost is. say it, 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 it lacks n nuance in the sense that uh, yeah. um, the way Kevin Sorbo's character in God's Not Dead lacks <laughs> nuance. <laughs> sure. uh, however, it, it's, he's, there are he's terrifyingly good. Yes, yeah. there are scenes some moments that, that yeah, attempt ambiguous. to humanize him, but yeah. he is an yeah. almost demonic yeah. Yeah. figure, and it's, it's almost enough to make people swear off right. of signing up for music school. But it's a very young director, yeah. a young mm -hmm. feeling yeah, film. He has a young feeling yeah. film. Yeah. And, uh, My, very Miles Teller, too, he's such an up and coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. terrific. Yeah, he yeah. did a great job. Yeah. Ten, tended to be overshadowed by, yeah, by, by Simmons' sense. performance, yeah. but he was mm -hmm. also excellent. Yeah. And among other things, it's just such an impressive uh, kind of piece of directorial showcase, if you mm -hmm. will. I just mm -hmm. feel like it's so well directed. Yeah. I mean, the movie is right. so precise. Everything right. about it, the, the shot list, right. the, the yeah. sequencing of it. The editing. Yeah. The editing, everything. What I loved it. about the editing is it mirrored the idea of kind of stop, start, whiplash. Yes. Like, so mm -hmm. the, that's kind of the theme of the movie is mm -hmm. like your life kind of starting and stopping and having this sense of whiplash from that. But the rhythm of the movie too, the way it's cut, there's like long sequences of performance and then there's like right. sh short staccato yes. moments. and you feel whiplash almost in the <laughs> way it's cut. Yeah, as a filmmaker, I was impressed by the fact that the movie was shot in 19 days. Yeah. It was shot so right. quickly, yeah. and yet it felt yeah. so That's precise really and accomplished. Yeah. And, it's an, and it's an unsettling film. Mm -hmm. You come out feeling very mm -hmm. unsettled. And I, mm -hmm. maybe I like that. Maybe I need that, too, yes. for my own creative the, stimulation. Yeah. <laughs> the, crowd, the very small crowd that I was with, and I saw this last week came out saying, oh, and it just went on forever. And it was so unpleasant. What? Really? Wow, <laughs> that's oh, these people? Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Don't show them boyhood. Yeah, don't yeah. show them boyhood. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, yes, it's a, a, an unpleasant film in certain respects. Yeah. But, um, um, mm. yeah, what, one worth seeing, for sure. And the director, uh, Damien Chazelle, also a talent yeah. worth yeah. watching. Watch. I know, Absolutely. definitely. Well, for me, the, the film that we haven't talked about that I would recommend is a film called Locke. Um, mm, Locke, just yeah. like a, a, a really interesting one-man <sighs> show, basically with Tom Hardy. Definitely intriguing. Um, film, it, yeah. The whole film is set in a car. Uh -huh. um, he's driving from one part of England to the other, <laughs> um, and he's on, it's all just his interactions on the phone, basically with right. different people in his life. So it you know it feels like maybe gimmicky, just the concept. And sometimes the one-man show movies, I think, come across that way. But yeah. his performance is incredible, and um, there's just a lot of really interesting themes about. Um, huh masculinity and just like mm. the way that um, kind of the male mind likes to keep things ordered and, and, and keeping things, his family together and his job and he's, yeah. he's toggling between all these different compartments of his life. It's a stressful performance. It's very <laughs> stressful. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just thought it was a beautiful performance and Absolutely. really interesting film. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of a writer's movie in some ways yeah, because yeah. you know it's so dialogue heavy. It's yeah. but it it finds interesting ways of shooting yeah. a confined space, which itself right. is a very cinematic endeavor. Right, right. it's a challenge. Yeah, I like that yeah. one too. I almost forgot about. Locke. And it's a brisk. I think it's only like ninety minutes, so it's a pretty short, yeah, you know, pretty short film. concise little film. Oh, oh. Um, I really liked a film called Mr. Turner. Mm -hmm. This is Mike Lee's uh, biography of um, England's most famous painter mm -hmm. at the time, perhaps even still is most fam mm -hmm. England's most famous Turner. painter. Oh, yeah. A very difficult man, uh, not an attractive man in his personal life. Mm -hmm. However, he has ideals and uh, kind of a moral code that he lives by and is played by Timothy Spall, who mm -hmm. probably a lot of people have seen, they yeah, just don't recognize, but they can't make, he's, yeah. yeah, he's in the Harry Potter mm -hmm. movies and so forth, but he's a, a very highly regarded English actor yeah. and he uh, gives a tremendous performance uh, as this man, it's a, another exploration of 
genius mm -hmm. and how genius can sometimes take its toll on personal lives. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also his process, which is very intriguing. He changed uh, the way paintings were, yeah. were done. Um, it's, it's too complex to get into, but mm -hmm. yeah, the way he, uh, his uh, uh, paintings became more and more abstract mm -hmm. and more modern. Mm -hmm. And there's a very intriguing scene toward the end in which he's being photographed mm -hmm. for the first time um, by a tintype. Mm -hmm. uh, and he sees the end of painting coming. Mm -hmm. This medium, this mm -hmm. camera, mm -hmm. is going to destroy painting. Um, and it's a very... Uh, mm -hmm. It's a very interesting choice for a filmmaker to make, mm, yeah. um, but the film itself is a work of art visually. It yeah. resembles, it, it, it makes an attempt to recreate some of His Turner's style. paintings come to life. Mm -hmm. uh, and so for any mm. art history major mm. or mm -hmm. anyone who's even remotely interested in yeah. painting should see this film, um, right. although you won't find it to be uh, particularly uplifting <laughs> the end, the way the, the Hawking right. film uh, tries to be <coughs> uplifting. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it nevertheless um, gives you a full picture of Turner's time mm. and his um, mm -hmm. the milieu in which he, he grew up yeah. and, and matured Great. as an artist. It is interesting kind of juxtaposing the beautiful imagery with Mike Lee's sensibility as a director because right. he is sometimes mm. quite grim yeah. yes. and quite yeah. misanthropic. Mm. And I like the fact that he, this is a tough film. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the fact that he also, like Eastwood with American Sniper, also treats it in a very unsentimental manner. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I just love that about the film. Mm. Yes, I mean, absolutely. I, I kept asking myself what attracted Mike Lee to this particular personality. Mm -hmm. But he has always explored these really flawed mm -hmm. uh, characters and uh, with, with sometimes with sympathy, sometimes at a great kind of critical mm -hmm. distance yes. taking it in. But there are things that Turner did that uh, earned his admiration. Mm -hmm. For instance, his, his idea that he didn't want all of his paintings to be bought by private mm. owners. He wanted it to be displayed mm. in museums for free, mm. right? Which is something that yeah. Mike Lee, as yeah. a socialist, right. would love he to. Yeah, he appreciates mm -hmm. that this idea of art being public. It doesn't belong. It's not a capitalistic mm -hmm. enterprise. It's something that belongs to us all. Yeah. So yeah, that's a great recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah great Thanks. recommendation. Yeah. Yeah, for me, the film I would recommend, it's a movie that almost no one uh, has seen in this part of the world. It's a small Singaporean film mm. called Elo Elo, mm. which is currently streaming on Netflix. Mm. Uh, it's quite a critical sensation in Asia because it was the first Singaporean film to win a prize at Cannes. Mm. Uh, in 2013, it was the winner of The Camera Door, which is the prize mm. for Best First Feature Film at Cannes. Uh, it's by a young, first-time Singaporean filmmaker mm. named Anthony Chen. Mm. Uh, it's a small semi-autobiographical film mm -hmm. about a boy growing up and it's entirely about the boy's relationship with the Filipino maid that's hired to take care of him. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it could be a very sentimental story mm -hmm. but the beauty of the film is that it avoids mm -hmm. the trappings, I mean the trappings yeah. of being a sentimental film. It could have easily been very sappy, could have been very political, could have been about the, the plight of you know Filipino maids in Asia but instead it is just a beautiful piece of filmmaking about relationship, about uh, family. Mm -hmm. uh, stylistically, it's very reminiscent of the works of people like Edward Yang and the great Japanese yeah. director, uh, Corey Ada, mm -hmm. um, and Lee Chang Dong, uh, the great Korean director mm -hmm. who did uh, Secret Sunshine yeah. and Poetry. So it's, it is very much in that vein of uh, kind of humanistic filmmaking. Mm. Uh, it's a beautiful film yeah. and I would highly recommend it. How do you spell it? Uh, Ilo Ilo, it's I-L-O, I-L-O. Okay. It's the name of a region in the Philippines. And yeah. if you see the film, you'll understand why it's named that way. Cool. Excellent. Well, cool. We can go That's search great. for that, and I definitely want to see it. Well, thank you guys for being here and for Talking Film 2014, and um, I hope that we can do it again sometime. Thanks, Brett. Great Sounds to be here. Great. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Enjoyed this.